Hi everyone. Today we will discuss the last part of design a solution. Control structures are repetition, also known as We have two types of uh, repetition counter control and sentinel control. Before we discuss what is repetition, programmers use the repetition structure when they need the computer to repeatedly process one or more program instruction. Remember to repeat process one or more program instruction. Repetition, if you see we have two types. The first one counter control when we know how many times loop body will be executed. Second we have sentinel control when we do not know how exactly how many times loop body will be executed. Okay, first we discuss about uh, counter control. So this one is a general format how you want to write the pseudocode for counter control. So first uh, we start with start. Second uh, you write the name and initialize counter. For names, uh, any names can be given to the loop counter. Okay, for initialize counter, uh, we assign a begin value to the counter. So counter are usually initialized to the number 0 or 1. However, they can be initialized to any number depending on the value required by the algorithm. We have while condition. Condition are uh, Test the loop counter control variable in a while condition. If the condition is true, the loop begin executing. Okay, then statement. Okay, after that we have update the counter. Okay, update the counter, uh, the value of the loop counter variable, whether increment or decrement. Okay, when the condition false and while, then write the stop. So this one is just general format. For pseudocode. For the flowchart, just add on three elements only. The first one, uh, loop counter variable, is named and initialized. Okay. Second, uh, we have uh, loop control variable is tested. Lah. So we need the condition. And the third, update. Okay. Loop counter variable is updated by using counter increment of decrement so this one is the, just remember i c u i for initial value c for condition i c for condition and the third one is update in red for counter increment okay now we discuss the first example okay for this problem statement create a program that will print i love can pk Five times. So print I love can picking for five times. So for input, you don't have any input. Even for process, also no process. And for output, I love can picking for five times. So this one is compulsory to write because this is printed for five times. Okay, for pseudocode. So as usual, you write the start. Okay, for the first line, make sure you set the counter equal to 1. Initialize the counter equal to 1. Okay, for second line, condition, a counter less than 6. Okay, then uh, third line, statement to be executed. Okay, for to repeat the statement, we need updating value. Counter equal to counter plus 1. Okay, we see this uh, statement will be executed until the condition becomes false. Okay, so uh, example 5 plus 1 is 6. So computer check false while become and while then stop. Okay, next for the flow chart, use a capsule shape right in the start. Then we have uh, set counter equal to 1. Set counter equal to 1 is a uh, process statement. 
so you need to draw the rectangle then we have arrow to the condition so when counter equal to 1 1 less than 6 yes true computer print either can be k so for repeat this uh, statement we need counter increment or updating value so counter equal to counter plus one now counter one one plus one two so computer will check the condition okay two two less than six yes true okay so this process will be repeated until five times remember until five times so 5 plus 1 becomes 6 so 6 less than 6 false then stop okay number 3 you have to know counter table okay to draw the counter table you just use uh, guideline i c u okay for the first row use i i means initial value so just now counter equal to 1 so second row condition counter less than 6 okay then we have input for this problem statement we don't have any input so we need to write the input even process also we don't have but we have output computer have to print i love can be key for 5 times so this one is output and the last part is updating value okay this one is updating value counter equal to counter plus 1 so when counter equal to 1 Okay, this is 1. Okay, computer check. 1 less than 6. Yes, true. Print either can be key. So now counter 1, 1, 1 plus 1 become 2. So you write 2 here. Okay, so true, 2 less than 6. Yes, true. Print again. Computer print either can be key. So now counter 2 plus with 1. This one, 2 plus 1 become 3. So we write 3 here. So 3 less than 6 as 3. I love can be k. So 3 plus 1, 4. Okay. So 4, check. 4 less than 6, yes, true. I love can be k. So 4 plus 1, 5. 5, 5 less than 6, true. Print, I love can be k. So 5 plus 1 become 6. So we write 6 here. Then you see, become false 6 less than 6 false blue terminate okay we don't have any statement to execute because blue terminate so if you see this uh, counter table very important especially for tracing output question okay for second problem statement create a program that calculates and display the pay of five employees given hours work and hourly pay rate so first you have to do the ipo analysis so for this problem statement the output pay for uh, five employees input hours and pay rate process calculate the pay for five employees okay this is a sample to write the pseudo code so first you write the start set k equal to 1 okay this k um, name the counter so any name can be given to the loop counter so here i write k set k equal to 1 okay this one is the initial value while k less or equal to 5 this one condition okay why k less or equal to 5 because to have to calculate P for 5 employees okay, if true means if the condition true means read hours pay read then print pay so this statement will be repeatedly for 5 times ok then uh, to repeat this statement we need updating value k equal to k plus 1 this one updating value so it's now k equal to 1 1 plus 1 2 so if you check 2 so this statement will be executed until the condition false then 
while and while okay you write the stop so this one is also the code okay for the flow chart as usual draw the cap, uh, start for the uh, use capsule shape okay then uh, initialize the value k equal to 1 use a rectangle shape and, uh, k less than 5 is a condition use diamond shape if true means read hours pay rate pay equal to hours multiple we have output print pay okay print pay then k equal to k plus one so this one the arrow must direct to the condition so make sure you draw the arrow okay then check false stop okay so for repetition flowchart remember you have to add on three new element initial value this one is initial value name and initial value number two the condition number three compass three must have the updated value the algorithm required the updating value whether increment or decrement okay this one is a example counter table for second problem statement so when k equal to 1, this one is initial value. Repeat while k less or equal to 5, this one is condition. Okay. Using this, this uh, counter table have input, process, output. Then only have objective value. So just uh, remember the guideline I see. Okay. So for initial value, k equal to 1, so 1. And uh, computer check the condition too. So input hours and pay rate. Example the hours 14, the pay rate is 20. Ring okay, equal to hours multiple pay rate. So 14 multiple 20 ringgit. So you get 800. Okay, for the next, uh, to calculate the pay, pay for the employee, we need the updating value. So, so just now, K equal to 1, 1 plus, sorry, 1 plus with 1 equal to 2. So, 2, check 2. So, example, uh, second employee, the hours 50, but the pay rate 22 ringgit 50 cent. Okay, multiple for the process, 1, 1, 2, 5. So, for calculate the, the pay for the next uh, third employee, so 2 plus 1 become 3. So this um, this uh, process will be repeatedly until false. Okay, when false, blue termin. So you need to understand the concept of counter table, especially when you want to uh, do the tracing output question.